Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful first day of winter. First day of winter here in paradise in Garfield, Texas. That means it's Friday, December 21st, 2018, the shortest day of the year. Uh, so anyway, you can see what I have been up to doing a little planet nibbling I'm doing a little bit of planet nibbling trying to save my house and uh, now that we're done with that for today we will be back tomorrow i can finally get around to part two of two days of this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant where i simply open my email box to see how this planet is collapsing uh, into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour here on the first day of winter as the fall of 2018 wrapped, wraps up in three minutes as a matter of fact it is 420 it is 420 here on Friday afternoon we have three minutes left in the fall of 2018 so uh, we're gonna welcome winter 2018 right here and now with part two of today's ecological meltdown roundup rant now two minutes till winter take it away center for biological diversities endangered earth we're suing to halt trump's approval of arctic drilling the last thing polar bears in the warming arctic need is dangerous offshore drilling but that's what the Trump administration wants to push through by approving Hillcore's, Hillcore Alaska's so-called Liberty, Liberty Project in the heart of polar bear habitat. Uh, Liberty would bring an artificial island and risky underwater pipeline to the sensitive Beaufort Sea. Uh, so this week, <coughs> The center sued to stop it, said the center's Kristen Monsell, whoever she is. Liberty is a bad step down a dangerous path. I love, I love the, uh, no, it's the unintentional uh, quotes. Did, did no editor catch this? Liberty is a bad step down a dangerous path. <laughs> and, an oil spill in the Arctic would be impossible to clean up any region already stressed by climate change. Liberty is a bad step down a dangerous path. Uh, that's that got to be the title of this rant. Okay, we're going to get back to uh, Ryan Zinke's departure when we get over to the Washington Post. Uh, what is the, what is the, uh, Center for Biological Diversity, uh, have to say about Ryan Zinke. Zinke's departure cannot come soon enough. He, uh, leaves, uh, with a slew of policies devastating for our public lands, endangered species, clean air and water. This is good old Kieran Suckling himself. Zinke will go down as the worst interior secretary in history. His slash and burn approach was absolutely destructive for public lands and wildlife, allowing David Bernhardt, which is the uh, planet eater, uh, who's going to replace him, allowing David Bernhardt to continue to call the shots will be just as ugly. Different people, same appetite for greed and profit. That is exactly a uh, new boss, same as the old boss. From Ryan Zinke to uh, Mountain Lions, Rat poison found in 85% of tested mountain lions. 
A new analysis in California has found rat poison in more than 85% of tested mountain lions, bobcats, and Pacific fishers, which has prompted regulators to evaluate whether to further restrict the toxins. I didn't know they were restricted at all. Said the center's Jonathan Evans, whoever that is, quote, this alarming new evidence should spur the state to ban these dangerous poisons. There are safer, cheaper alternatives. Regulators have no excuse to continuing to let California's wildlife die slow, excruciating deaths. All right, here's the another lawsuit to save starving West Coast orcas. On Tuesday, the Senate launched a lawsuit against Trump's National Marine Fisheries Service for mismanaging West Coast salmon fisheries. This has been hurting desperately endangered Southern resident killer whales. Um, there you go. Uh, some good news is that Washington Governor uh, Jay Inslee unveiled a new plan including a temporary suspension of whale watching boats full of clueless fucking morons. Uh, reducing noise and disturbance to whales is needed, but the whales will go extinct anyway if we don't swiftly restore their wild salmon prey. This is the center's Julie Teal Simmons, whoever Julie is. Quote, we cannot allow business as usual in the salmon fisheries while killer whales are starving to death. Time is running out. Yes. This is their story of the absolute joke fail, otherwise known as COP24. Uh, a handful of nations whose leaders are denying climate change think the US, Russia, and Saudi Arabia undermined progress at this year's climate conference in Poland. The United States even gave a presentation singing the praises of fossil fuels. Uh, as the center's Gene Sue, whoever that is, who was in attendance, said the agreement reached in Poland is, quote, far too anemic to pull us back from the brink of climate catastrophe. No shit. Uh, Sherlock. Uh, okay, what's the latest with uh, those dugongs, otherwise known as Asian manatees? Airbase construction starts in dugong habitat. Construction of a new U.S. airbase off Okinawa, Japan, is imminent. Don't worry, in January, the center and allies will be we'll begin briefing in our court case to save the area's unique manatee cousins. Uh, Okinawa dugongs are among the planet's most endangered marine mammals. Good God, it sounds like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Anybody who thinks that birds are going extinct in Texas uh, are not familiar with the boat-tailed grackle. Good lord. Oh well guys, it's been nice knowing you. I'm soon going to be getting my eyes uh, pecked out. Uh, quoting Peter Galvin, a center co-founder. Quote, we'll never stop fighting to protect, protect Okinawa dugongs from extinction, wiping out these gentle, culturally important animals would forever stain America's international reputation. 
I don't know, brother. Uh, I think the birds, I think we're in, the, in an Alfred Hitchcock movie, uh, not the, uh, good Lord. All right. What's going on in L.A. County this week while Groot is here visiting me in paradise? We're looking at urban sprawl in L.A. County. Imagine that, Mike. <clears throat> After years of work by the center to stop a senseless mega development called Centennial, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors has just okayed the project. This 19,000 home sprawl in a fire-prone area will destroy thousands of acres of wildflower fields and habitat. The board's decision flew in the face of widespread opposition from community members and the LA Times editorial board, among others. Uh, I'm sure they really give a shit. Uh, anyway, but we're going to head over now to those eco-Nazis at the Washington Post. Ah, before I go make an end time as margarita to celebrate the death of a tree in my yard. So, of course, the Washington Post, you know, they barely had time to start their hatchet job on Ryan Zinke before uh, he was, he just fell right over. Ryan Zinke was a rising star in Washington. Then he joined the Trump administration. Zinke's zeal in boosting coal and gas production on public lands angered Democrats who had supported him and his tendency to overstep the limits of his power at Interior worried Republicans and the President. Yep. Um, all right. What is the Green New Deal? I, you know, I haven't done a rant on it. Lots of people support the Green New Deal. So, what is it? What is the Green New Deal? I honestly don't know, guys, because I don't give a flying fuck what the Green New Deal is. The Green New Deal is the latest little limp dick plan by, by these goddamn little mainstream greeny environmentalists talking about how we're going to save the fucking planet by, uh, you, you know, creating more jobs in the renewable energy uh, sector so we can continue our unsustainable lifestyles. Uh, the Green New Deal, you don't even have to know what it is to start pushing the bullshit detector button. The very name, Green New Deal, uh, I, I mean it screams green washing, it screams limp dick, mainstream, environmentalist, hopium soaked, unadulterated horseshit. This is why I am not an environmentalist. I am an eco-Nazi. Fuck the Green New Deal. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you know, most of this is about Ryan. I, I've heard enough about Ryan Zinke to last me a lifetime. I'm not going to, no more stories about Ryan Zinke. We get it. He was a fucking planet eater. Whoever replaces the fucking planet eater is going to be another fucking planet eater. You know, no shit, Sherlock. The sky is blue. Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. This is their view about uh, COP24 fails to address the galloping pace of climate change. Uh, frustration remains that the world's progress does not match the urgency of the problem. I'll get that tomorrow, brother. Don't worry about it. I got to take that back to the barn. 
More shit about Ryan Zinke. Shut the fuck up about Ryan Zinke. Uh, more stuff on COP24. Scientists called for unprecedented action, but the climate talks just aren't built for that. Some are worried that the world's best efforts would not nearly match the urgency of a problem that scientists have said will bring catastrophic consequences. Hmm, do you think so? Uh, is that it? Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up right here. And the sun is going down on the first day of winter. We had winter arrive during that rant. We went from fall to winter during that rant. And uh, I need to take a shower. And it's time for a drink from the end times. <laughs> Smoke them if you got them, guys. We all know why. Bye, guys. <laughs>